Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I thought that uh, I will make a tier list for legendary units, not DPS, all units uh, that have talents, but I will make this tier list for level 9 talents only. Uh, I think it's the best way to show you and try to explain you what units are the best to unlock your level 9 talents with your course and for what units to go for. Uh, and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys to um, upgrade your account. So yeah, let's jump into it. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, so as you can see I've put 28 units, it's actually 27 legendary units that have their talents unlocked. Uh, I've put, uh, by my mistake, Inquisitor twice, so please uh, don't look at that. We'll go from left to right, from uh, starting from Harlequin, going uh, and finishing at Demonologist. I will not name any of those categories, it will be simple S, A, B, C and D. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, do it like that. I will try to give you some explanation how each talent works and why do I rank this at this category. So let's begin. Uh, with Harlequin, it's either left side talent, which uh, when you collect five playing cards, you will gather 10% bonus damage for each wave, and each wave you have to do it again. Uh, I think it's a really good talent, especially if you consider uh, that it also gives you additional amount of mana for a wave. I think it's a really good talent, especially in DPS decks, uh, I would really, really recommend going for that. If you prefer uh, going a little bit toxic and you want your cards to be reverted back when you copy it with Harlequin, uh, that right side talent does it. Uh, it when you copy a, a unit with Harlequin, after 30 seconds with right side talent, it goes back um, to Harlequin. So you can basically copy it in, for example, any toxic decks, uh, if you want to copy something to unlock your board, if you want to play it in genie deck, it really works well. Uh, so yeah, and also it gives you 50% of the summoning cost. Um, so yeah, I would put Harlequin for level 9 talents only because that's uh, what the video is about. I would put Harlequin in a B tier. Uh, I don't think it's that great in Harlequin. It's more about the level 15 talent, of course. For level 9 talent, I would put it in B tier. It's not that good, but it's also not that bad uh, as you may think. All right, Bruiser. It's a uh, DPS unit. Uh, of course, I will put my my talents, my little info on the second monitor. Uh, so with the left left side talent, Awakening Rage, you are collecting clovers when merging next to your bruisers. Uh, for collecting each clover, uh, it increases bruisers damage by 18% and when collecting two whole clovers, uh, um, leaves, whatever, how you want to call it, it's clovers actually, uh, attack speed and uh, when enraged bruiser increases by 20% and after 30 clovers the damage is reduced to 9% but assuming that you are playing it only with level 9 talent I don't think you are going to collect 30 clovers on uh, a single bruiser uh, so yeah I would say that it, this talent is good but not that good as uh, right side talent but it's not that bad of course Right side talent is uh, pretty much the same, you are collecting clovers uh, for 3 random bruisers whenever you merge or absorb with, for example, Scrapper uh, your bruisers and each clover uh, increases damage for all bruisers on the board by 10% and uh, whenever Empowered Rage is activated, the attack speed bonus is increased by 25% 
If 6 or more clovers are collected, there is a 50% chance that the rage will be empowered. And yeah, I would say Bruiser on level 9 talent, I uh, was watching my, my partner playing it uh, on level 9 talents, very pretty newish account, it was around 1000 crit. It goes really, really well, uh, winning most of the games, like 80%, even 90% of the games, especially if you play it with Scrapper. It's really good. I would highly recommend going for Bruiser uh, or level 9 talents, uh, and especially that the Bruiser recently has been buffed. Its sleep duration has been reduced from 5 seconds to 3 seconds, so I would highly, highly recommend Bruiser level 9 talents, unlocking it ASAP as uh, if you have your course, so I would put it in S tier, I think uh, in lower tier, like 1000, 2000, even 3000 crit, Bruiser is really good, especially if you know how to play it. Alright, next, Dryad, Dryad, a support unit, um, recently a bit forgotten, um, because of the, because of the Scrapper talents, but it is still really good, uh, level 9 talents unlocking you a fairy, uh, on both talents, level 9 talents gives you a blue fairy uh, called Fairy of Growth and Dryad has a 20% chance of appearing with blue Dryad. Increasing the merge rank of this Dryad summons another Dryad at first merge rank. So basically, if you uh, put Dryad mer merging Dryad on any of those units, uh, it will spawn you a another Dryad. Of course, 20% chance. Uh, so one uh, one out of five times uh, you will get it uh, and level 9 right side talent dryad has a 20% chance of appearing with a purple fairy in in this case uh, it will not spawn on the fairy in, uh, instead it will give you 1.5% damage boost uh, to all of your units on board um, and it will not exceed 30% but again just like with bruiser uh, I don't think if you play on uh, only on level 9 talents, I don't think you will exceed that. Uh, so you have choices, either uh, getting more Dryads on your board or increasing damage uh, on your units. I would also highly recommend going for level 9 Dryad talents. Uh, Dryad is a really powerful uh, legendary support unit at the very uh, beginning stages uh, of the game of your account, if you have 1000, 2000 crit. I would say uh, Dryad is uh, something around, I would say, better than Harley Talents on level 9, but it's not that good as well. Alright, Witch. Witch has been recently nerfed, uh, it is not that great as it was. Uh, Alright, so left side talent is a toxic talent, uh, the Witch releases one additional curse, the additional curse will disappear 4 seconds after the impact after it hits basically and level 9 level 9 uh, right side talent uh, whenever for each merge rank of your units so you your witch becomes uh, known toxic right now with this talent instead it uh, buffs uh, your dam damage of your units by 4% for each merge rank or for each stack uh, and the higher the merge rank of your witch the higher percentage damage is increased uh, I would say for only level 9 talent, uh, it's not that great, You, it requires you to have uh, all 30 stacks of which and it be, being uh, tier 6, tier 7, maybe tier 5 to actually give you a big boost of damage. Uh, for only level 9 talent, I would put it uh, somewhere around A tier or maybe even B tier. Maybe I will move it around. I'm not sure entirely uh, how which looks in just level 9 talent. Uh, but I will put it on B tier at the first place on B tier. Uh, maybe I will move it to A tier uh, later on. Alright, Summoner. Summoner is, I think, one of the best units to unlock level 9 talents, in my opinion. Uh, right now, left side talent gives you a 30% chance of Summoner becoming... Uh, with Oracle. Uh, when merging, the Oracle will summon two units at uh, any merge rank uh, depending on the summoner merge rank. Besides, the unit replacement can be applied up to three times. The replacement, which is the ability uh, down below, 
and that you can press uh, and you can use it up to three times each time it refreshes of course uh, so I would really really recommend uh, going for summoner talents because the right side talent is also very good also have 30% chance of summoner becoming uh, an oracle when merging the oracle the merge rank of the summoned unit by summoner will be one higher so uh, if a summoner have a, a oracle is an oracle uh, and you merge it then it will be the same merge rank uh, of the summoner and it will summon uh, the, 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 the unit of the same merge rank. So if you merge tier 1 summoner with oracle uh, then the unit will become tier 3 or a tier 2 sorry and the summoned unit also will be tier 2 so that's really good and additionally replacement will now turn a random summoner of the highest rank into another unit. So basically if you are stuck on your board you have nothing to merge rank uh, to merge but you have summoner any summoner it doesn't have to be with oracle you can press click on your ability sorry uh, you can click on uh, your ability and then it will turn into random unit of your deck so i would highly re recommend going for summoner talents i would put it in s tier uh, it's really good next to the bruiser talents in my opinion one of the best on level 9 talents of course Right, Minotaur. Minotaur on level 9 talents, I don't think it's that great, honestly. Uh, I will quickly run through the talents. Uh, when Minotaur is merged, appears on the field or increases rank, all Minotaurs go into Berserker mode for 15 seconds. In Berserker mode, um, the earthquakes uh, are in the damage from earthquakes is are increased by 50%. It's not that great, Minotaur doesn't have really good uh, base damage in my opinion and that's why it is played at the higher level uh, as a toxic unit and right side talent uh, when Minotaur merges appears on the field increases his merge rank whatever uh, or when a boss appears all Minotaurs enter Berserker mode for 20 seconds in Berserker mode the Minotaur's attack speed is increased by 400% and it gains area attack and bonus damage equal to 100% of the earthquake damage um, yeah I just don't think level 9 talents alone are really good for Minotaur uh, so I would put it in uh, C tier maybe even moving to D tier I will uh, see about it later on Next one is Blade Dancer. Blade Dancer level 9 side talent it's either Flora Frenzy which every 15 second Blade Dancer enters dance mode retaining the attack speed bonus and giving a flower. So basically uh, each time you place your Blade Dancer diagonally uh, like a diamond, diamond formations uh, for each 15 seconds uh, the flower will bounce from one Blade Dancer to another giving you uh, some percentage damage uh, which is in my opinion really good Bright Dancer is very slept on on level 9, nine talents only um, and level 9 talent it's uh, the right side talent is a bit more complicated because you have to move your Blade Dancer with a unit like um, Portal Keeper uh, it is more like a safer option if you know how to play Blooming Dash um, but I, if you are new to this unit I would recommend playing more Flora Frenzy um, so I would put Blade Dancer in like a bit B tier somewhere around here I think uh, Blade Dancer is not that great solely on level 9 talent it's more about uh, the higher talents in my opinion Right, uh, Spirit Master. Spirit Master, an event unit, still, um, maybe uh, maybe it will be moved in the future, being not a event unit. Left side talent, uh, when using mana power up ability, uh, the Wind Spirit form is uh, for 10 seconds, increased attack speed against bosses and mini bosses for 30 seconds, and flame power, uh, when using your mana power up ability, uh, it gets a fire spirit form for 7 seconds gaining 30% AOE attack uh, damage uh, increased by 2% for each spirit master you have on your board. I don't think only level, level 9 talents for spirit master are that great. If you want to play spirit master you have to go all in uh, for level 15 talents. Um, 
not that great but it's also not that bad i would put it in b tier uh somewhere yes may i think it's a no i can't put it in uh below blade dancer i think it's around here um yeah i would put it above blade dancer but below which which is a bit more uh it's, it's just a bit better than uh, other units in b tier uh all right uh scrapper scrapper in my opinion is one of the best units that you can unlock your talents on um Quickly speaking, you either have Scrap Them All, which is a Recycler Scrapper uh, on your board. Uh, it gives you 20% bonus damage if you scrap something with your Recycler. Uh, and that way you can control your Scrapper's uh, merge ranks. Because at each time you use your ability on Scrapper, it reduces uh, the highest merge rank of any of Scrappers you have on your board. Um, and waste free recycling this way uh, this way you can scrap any merge rank units uh, below or the same merge rank of your highest scrapper uh, so basically if you have for example tier 5 scrapper you can scrap tier 3 tier 4 tier 5 tier 1 uh, units anything you want on your board you can even scrap your whole board if you want to uh, but not nevertheless it's a really good talent to have uh, for Scrapper as a support unit. I would put it in A tier. I think it's uh, a bit worse than Summoner as a support unit, but much better than all these three support units, which is Peach, uh, Dryad, and Harlequin. Uh, next unit, Ma uh, sorry, Meteor. Meteor. Um, Meteor. Yeah, Burning Comet or uh, Fiery Bolite. Uh, I'm not an expert for my, uh, for Meteor, but I would only assume that uh, level 9 talents are not enough to have them uh, unlocked to, to being uh, somewhat good. Uh, Meteor right now is in really bad state in my opinion, so I would not even talk about it. I would put it in, in D tier. It's, it's just not good. It's just not good. Uh, all right, riding foot, another uh, event unit. Either you have wolf's nature, which is uh, which gives you 25% chance to summon dubious riding foot instead of the normal ones, and those will give you 50% mana uh, for eating with uh, any of riding foots in wolf for wolf form. Uh, damage from all wolves increases by 2.5% for each merge rank of all dubious riding foots. So basically you have to gather your dubious uh, riding hoods um, with higher merge rank to increase your damage. In my opinion it is good but it is not the best level 9 talent for riding hood. Uh, the better one in my opinion is Alpha Wolf. Uh, you basically have to eat with your uh, riding hoods in a wolf form uh, to increase the damage. Uh, at 40 charges of course it gives you the best outcome of the damage and abilities because it increases with 1 each, 5 each, 20 each and 40 each charges, stacks, whatever you want to call it. Um, in my opinion it's a really good unit, it's not the best unit for level 9 talents, uh, so I'll put it in A tier. Uh, I think it's better for than Spirit Master in terms of unlocking level 9 talents. Uh, so we will move on. Uh, Boreas, uh, honestly. <laughs> but Boreas is the same as, as Meteor, uh, it's just not good on level 9 talents. Boreas to be good uh, requires you to play either Necromancer as a legendary hero or you, uh, as a toxic deck or you play it with uh, what's, what is called the Grindstone. Um, but it's also not that great in my opinion. There are better ways uh, to, to win more games. Uh, with level 9 talents of course right cultist cultist in my opinion level 9 talents uh gives you a little bit more damage it is not that great because it doesn't have any cleanse ability uh so you either play dps side uh reaching 20 stacks uh, the, the sacrifices on the corners uh, it will turn the middle cultists into harbingers which increases uh, have their attack speed increased by 15% or you play toxic 
uh, for each eight souls, which is which are the um, sacrifices, uh, it will spawn um, somewhat cold. I would say the blazing barons, the the, the the lions that spit fire on your units and downgrade your merge ranks. Uh, I would put it, I think, somewhere around Spirit Master in terms of level nine talents. Yeah, something like that. Maybe maybe above which. It is good. It is good. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's just not it. You know that like, there there are better level nine talents in the game. Uh, all right, Inquisitor, 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 Inquisitor. I know that everyone loves Inquisitor, but I think level nine talent is just not it for Inquisitor. You 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 just require it. It requires you to have higher uh, higher level uh, of your Inquisitor to actually be good. Uh, you either have Knights of Light, which is uh, the, the Light Inquisitor, um, and then you need 1, 4, 7 or 10 Light Inquisitors to be actually good. Each time you kill a boss, it gives all the Light Inquisitor 3.5% damage. Uh, and Knight of Darkness, which is a Dark Inquisitor, uh, for basically one of your Inquisitors, the first one that summons, becomes a dark uh, inquisitor and each time you summon another inquisitor it will absorb them to increase its damage for each uh for each absorb uh, it, inc it increases the damage by six but i don't know its percent I, I would only assume it's percent of course uh yeah inquisitor is just not good i would put it uh, somewhere around Mino. And just to be clear, it's only level 9 talents, so yeah, that's it. Alright, next unit, Banshee. Banshee is, uh, in my opinion, pretty much the same as Inquisitor. You either build 7 Banshees with Coven or so with Solitude, uh, 4 Banshees on your board. I just don't see it being good on level 9 talent. You just need uh, the higher talents, of course, to make it work. I would put it uh, the same as Inquisitor, doesn't matter um, the placement on, in, in this tier, it's just not good on level 9 talent in my opinion, so I wouldn't recommend going for that. Uh, Genie, Genie in my opinion is a really good unit, event unit to go for level 9 talents because either you play Magical Sultanate, uh, so basically uh, two of your uh, genies that are summoned first become Sultans and will increase damage of your uh, other genies that are next to those sultans uh, for each merge rank of sultans uh, and ifrit i would recommend going for that if you are new to um genie uh, all the players genies turn into ifrits uh, their damage is increased by 25 percent and vortex vortexes reduce their targets armor by 15 percent and uh, every time you make a formation of genies, like three of them, uh, it has a chance to burn and gives you additional stacks uh, thanks to that. So I would recommend going for that talent because it's much easier to play. Um, you can play it pretty much with every hero. I would recommend going for Snowflake or, uh, or Gadget. Uh, or if you want, you can play it with Mermaid as well. It's good as well. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend going for that for talents on Genie. I would put it on on S tier, just because it re doesn't require you to rely on one or two or three main DPS units. You can have full board of Genies, and even if Dark Priestess hits you, it won't hurt you that much. Uh, uh, also, if a Virus or Bedlam or whatever else in in the, will hit you it doesn't hurt you that much because you can build your board up again um thanks to the vortexes of course it, it just helps you control monsters much more than any other units all right swords swords is a dps and support unit um so you either play dps sword which is that the first sword that appears on board becomes an ancient sword or whenever you merge eight swords, uh, then another merge rank of swords will become another ancient sword. Uh, I would recommend playing it if you have only level nine talents, of course, uh, because it requires you uh, to have 
higher talents, of course, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. Um, I would highly recommend playing Awakening as a support unit on level 9 talents only. Uh, now 20% chance it has uh, to be Awakened Sword. And after merging it, it will go, it will buff three additional targets, not two without talents. Uh, so I would highly recommend that uh, playing with level 9 talent. Uh, but it is also not the best unit to have its talent unlocked. Uh, I would put it uh, above which, in my opinion, it is not great, that great as a scrapper, but it is definitely greater uh, than which as a support unit, of course. Uh, all right, yeah, Inquisitor, we uh, we forget because we already talked about it. Robot, robot level nine talents. Yeah, I just don't see it. Like in my previous tier list as the DPS uh, units, legendary units, I just don't see robot being good. Uh, I cannot find robot. Where is robot? Alright, so you either play stun rockets whenever you merge your um, your robots, it will send rockets to enemies board and will stun enemies units. In my opinion, it's not that great. It's only 3 seconds and usually you don't merge your robots that much in late game because you just run out of space on your board or you play cryo rockets which uh each time you merge your robots it will send uh those rockets to the monsters on your path uh, which it will inflict 1200 damage per unit um yeah, I just, no, it's it's just not good. Like, a robot overall, even if you have level 15 talents, it's not that great. On level 9 talents alone, I just don't see it being that great. I wouldn't recommend going for those talents uh, for only level 9 talents. So I would put it in D tier, of course. Um, next one is Night Statue. Night Statue, in my opinion, level 9 talents might be actually pretty good. Uh, especially that you can play either sharpened which is that it will buff every unit in the lines of your uh, knight statue or you play covenant uh, which means that each time you merge next to your um, knight statues it will increase the bonuses it gives to all the units next to it um i would actually say that it's pretty much same as uh, Scrapper in terms of level 9 talents. In my opinion, it's one of the best level 9 talents for uh, support su support units. Uh, it is... Mm, maybe I would put support here, actually. Or maybe not, because it's only level 9 talents. Uh, Night Statue without talents doesn't give you that much. Uh, sword, uh, on the other hand, without talents gives you already enough to be good. Uh, level 9 talents are not that important, as for Night Statue, it is actually important to have them. Uh, Alright, uh, Sea Dog, Sea Dog, Sea Dog, Sea Dog. Sea Dog is a, I would say, only toxic unit for now. I saw some playing DPS, but it's not that great. Uh, level 9 left side talent is a toxic whenever you merge on the tiles that uh, Sea Dog creates. Uh, it will send a ghost to the opponent's side, uh, blocking it from being merged, from attacking, from whatever else. Uh, so basically a toxic talent. Uh, level 9, a right side talent, is a captain talent. Uh, each time you merge uh, any units and it becomes Sea Dog, it has 50% chance of becoming a captain. Uh, captains of merge rank 4 or higher gets an additional 30% damage. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend going for Seadog. If you have very new account, I wouldn't recommend going for Seadog Talents level 9. Uh, I would hold on to that unless you plan to spend like thousands of dollars to go for Necro and Seadog, then sure you can do that as well. Uh, I would put it uh, above those three. I would say that it can be played as a DPS normal unit. It can have some outcome, but it is just not that great in my opinion. Uh, next, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is being loved by everyone, but developers, of course, Demon Hunter is just forgotten. But still, in my opinion, level 9 talents are pretty good. If you think about it, it's still good. It's not that great as it was, but it's still really, really good. 
uh, you either play absorption so whenever you have uh, stacks from mini bosses or bosses on your demon hunters and you merge them or absorb them uh, then you the highest merge rank of your uh, of your demon hunter on on your board uh, gets uh, three stacks in, yeah three stacks uh, which gives five percent each uh, up to 90 stacks then it uh, only increases by 0.5 percent but i would assume you would never get that with only level nine talents or you play twilight hunting and now six of your uh, first summoned uh, demon hunters become twilight hunters uh, which have their attack speed increased by 20%. Once every 15 seconds, the regular demon hunters that you summon uh, disappear, uh, being absorbed by all twilight hunters uh, and getting them a stack of damage uh, that gives 3% each. Uh, I would recommend playing, of course, absorption, especially if you have only level 9 talents. Uh, but I would as, uh, I would say that it is really good. I would put it uh, maybe next to Riding Hood, in my opinion. It is not the greatest, but it is still really good, in my opinion. Uh, people who disagree, just try it out, please. Uh, first, if you don't like it, sure, you, then you can hate me on in the comments. <laughs> I will not mind, of course. Uh, all right, next monk. Oh, monk. Monk is just the greatest, in my opinion, level 9 talent. Uh, you, pre you either played Blessing, uh, creating intersection, and then the main monk uh, being the, the, the blessed monk. Uh, and every time you merge monks outside of that intersection, it will give that monk, uh, that main monk, stacks 3% damage each stack it gives to the main monk. In my opinion, uh, I think everyone will agree with me, Monk is just the best level 9 talent mm, that is in the game. Maybe not the best, but definitely one of the best. Uh, or you play Equilibrium and then you have to either absorb or increase merge rank or merge units that have those spheres uh, that show every what 10-15 seconds on different Monk. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing it if you have only level 9 talent. It's a bit more complicated. I would go for blessing, of course, if you are new to the game. Uh, so yeah, all right, that's it. Enough for monk. Just, just really good. Um, all right, Tesla. Tesla is a non-event unit already. Uh, you play either Electro Train, just like it is with uh, Engineer. Uh, you have to have your uh, Teslas next to each other. Uh, and the chain is increased by 1.2% per merge rank in proportion uh, to the number of Teslas that are in that chain. Or you play Professor. Uh, if you merge your Teslas, they become a Professor. Professor can be only one on board and it will give 0.2% uh, per uh, charge uh, in proportion to his merge rank. So it will basically gather stacks and will buff all of your uh, Teslas on your board. I wouldn't recommend going for that, honestly. Tesla is just not great. <laughs> Sorry for that, Tesla lovers. Uh, Tesla is just not great. Solely on level 9 talents, I would put it next to uh, Banshee and Inquisitor. I wouldn't recommend. There are just better level 9 talents in the game. Uh, Alright, Frost. Frost, Frost, Frost. You either play Icy Breath that will block uh, enemies mana uh, from getting mana when you merge frost with snowflakes on it um, or you play chains of ice which whenever you merge frost with snowflakes it will block uh, mini bosses or bosses ability for three seconds yeah i just don't think it's good in my in my opinion level 9 talent is just not good for frost it's all about the level 13 talents of course uh, so yeah, I would put it uh, somewhere here. I wouldn't recommend going for that. Uh, Bard. Bard is a event unit. You either play accordionist, uh, then you have to place your um, bards near the path, next to path. Uh, no, sorry, accordionist is not that. It's drummer. Drummer, you have to place your bards uh, near the path, then they become the drummers. And of course, uh, they reduce the, um, the 
armor armor penetration and of course uh i think slow down does it have slow it doesn't matter uh and accordionist of course uh, whenever you merge your uh bards where they become uh accordionists uh you can unlock second accordionist on 75 inspiration stacks 150 and 300 so overall you can have four of those accordionists I would say it's one of the best talents uh, in my opinion in the game I would uh, say that it's a bit better than bruiser uh, but a bit uh, worse than monk in my opinion so let's move on it's already 35 minutes video so I would not want you to watch uh, that long hopefully uh trent trent the newest unit uh yeah trent i would say easily just the top unit uh it beats monk and level 9 talents alone and uh, so i would recommend going for trent uh yeah level 9 left side talent uh, i wouldn't recommend playing it it's a bit more complicated because the stacks matter on each of the trends uh, where level 9 right side talent it gather all the leaves that you have on your board and gives the bonus damage to all of your trends so i would highly recommend playing that uh, uh developers recently made sure that everyone understand that and last and least demonologist level 9 side talent uh you either play arc arc demon um whenever you spawn uh, whenever you merge your demonologist that have that that thing on it um that, that the weird rod or the weird spirit and uh, then it will summon arc demon uh, whenever enemy kills it it stuns five enemy units for five seconds it's quite good in my opinion um uh, or you either play multiplication of evil so now each time uh the demologist spawns with that dark spirit dark orb whatever it's called uh it will summon two uh of the monsters on an enemy path that will give you mana uh, for each kill um i would say that it's not that bad for level 9 talents i would say that it is somewhere around here i would say maybe not yeah something something around here so yeah that's my tier list in s tier we have trent monk bard bruiser summoner and genie in a tier scrapper knight statue Demon Hunter and Riding Hood in B tier Cultist uh, Swords Witch Panda is Spirit Master um, Blade Dancer Dryad Demonologist and Harlequin in C tier I would put um, Sidok Minotaur Tesla Banshee and Inquisitor and D tier the worst tier uh, Meteor Boreas Robot and Frost. Uh, I understand that you might disagree with me. I understand that you might have different tier lists different opinions but that's my tier list my opinions my thoughts uh, so hopefully you guys liked it understood it and like subscribe comment down below your thoughts uh, i answer to all of my all of my comments so go ahead and see you guys in the next video hey there Thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.